Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing good. Okay, for this tutorial, I am redoing this video that I already done a couple of years ago. But uh, for some reason, I've been getting so many comments from uh, new beginners who's learning how to knit. And they pick this uh, uh, blanket to knit, I guess, and they were having difficulty. So I, what I did is I went back and I worked on it. And I am doing a new version of how to knit this gorgeous bro, bro I, I'm having a hard time pronouncing that name. Um, uh, so I, I tried to make it as simple as I can. So let's, uh, let's go and start on it. And, uh, okay. So, uh, what I did is I'm going to show it as clear as, as possible. So we start from here and then we knit about five rows and then we make these, this part, and then we, st we increase from here and we do a yarn over. That's how we do it. It's very easy, actually, so I don't know. I think this is the simplest way that I can show this uh, blanket. So grab the yarn that you have. Uh, what I did is I went to D D Dollarama and I grabbed this gorgeous, gorgeous 100% cotton yarn. And I just love it, love it, love it. So I took all what they had. They had, they had about 17 balls of this yarn. So I... I'm on the half of the blanket, so I used up seven of this ball, seven, so you need 14 if you're going to be knitting with this yarn, at least 14, just grab 15 if you have to, and uh, yeah, so this yarn is called oatmeal, you don't have to pick this yarn, but I'm just giving you an idea how much you need, and it's a four weight, and I'm using a five millimeter knitting needle, and uh it's i believe it was 85 gram yeah it's three ounces 85 gram 131 yards 120 meters per ball so you need at least 15 of this just to be on the safe side okay so i'm just gonna show it to you so you we start from here and we increase we increase it's pretty big and it gets wider I didn't measure it, but I believe it's about, so this is about half, and we're going to start doing our decrease. Bro, bro <laughs> brioche stitch, <laughs> brioche stitch, it's corner to corner brioche stitch. So when we come to the half, half means that we need to knit about 10 of these. And then when we come to the 10, we start our decrease on half of the 10. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to move this. Before I move it, I grabbed 17 more of this color. So this time I'm going to be knitting with this. Just love the texture. I haven't went out to grab more yarn, but... Uh, uh, I really like this yarn. I, bought, I paid three dollars Canadian, and uh, it's nice and soft, especially when you make the baby blanket. Oh my God, it's a dream! It's a dream. Okay, so I am going to ask you to cast on a total of five stitches, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're starting from here. As you can see, my tail. You can see the tail. So we're going to be knitting two sides purl wrong side and the back side purl for five rows just like this and I have already cast on a total of five stitches so I'm going to be knitting five rows of purl just like this so it's like just regular purl stitch I love this uh, Knitting Pride needles. They're nice and sharp. And the yarn just slides nicely. Okay. Just like this. And then the wrong side. 
is purl as well. Yeah, on, on this one, I'm knitting the edges. Because uh, I usually don't knit my first stitch. Can you see? My voice is still not... My God, it's been a month and still I haven't uh, went back to normal. This COVID is just terrible. That's all I can see. I ha I'm negative, but still I have the symptoms. Okay, so uh, I'm going to ask you to knit five. Five ridges. Like I, I, I said five rows. I do apologize. So it's going to be five row uh, ridges. One, two, three, four, five. And I will meet. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what did I do? I blocked it. So five, uh, five uh, ridges, one, two, three, four, five. And I will meet you at the fifth when we finish it. And we're going to increase these little edges. I think this uh, blanket was very appealing because of the edge. And I've been getting lots of comments. People were emailing me. Comments from everywhere, from my Instagram, my personal. I have two personal Facebooks. Well, one is personal, one is uh, business-related, one is fan face. I do not have a written pattern. If I sit down and write a pattern, I'm going to charge you $5. So, uh, therefore, no one wants to pay the $5. That's why I'm not making writing patterns. I am doing the tutorial. Okay, just so please don't ask me a written pattern. I will see you uh, five ridges later. Okay, so I have knit five rows, two, four, five. And when you look at the back, you will have two, four, five. Okay, just to show you. So this is how we start. So please don't get confused. I know lots of people were getting confused. Like this is the simplest way I can do this tutorial. And I'm focusing on the beginning because the rest is just go super easy. Okay, here we are going to do our increase. Okay, to do our increase, I'm going to move this aside so I don't want you to get distracted because of the background. Okay, so here we are. Oh, we don't want it that close, right? <laughs> so this is how I'm going to be doing my increase. We are going to be knitting like a pearl knit. Okay, I knit from my neck, uh, Turkish style. So I feel more comfortable knitting like this, the pearl. So knit like you're knitting a pearl. Okay. And what we do is we twist it and we put it back to this needle. So this is one. We did one increase. I'm just trying to have it to focus so it won't get blurry and then again I put it back and then I start like I'm doing a pearl yarn on the front and then I twist it like this and I put it back so we did our two increase our three increase our four increase and then our fifth increase Okay, so we did our fifth increase. Now we're making the second uh, edge on the blanket. So we're just going to knit this like pearl yarn on the front. Just knit as you pearl. This is how I do my pearls. And I'm trying to show it as slow as I can. <laughs> okay. So we just knit this corner. So we just knit this corner, just like this, see? But, oops, let me focus that. So we knit this, now we're going to do our increase. Oh, this is the wrong side, here we go. So to do our increase, we're gonna do a yarn over, okay? To do my yarn over, so I did three, four, and I'm knitting my fifth. Okay, we're done. 
Now I'm going to do a yarn over. Okay, and just to point that out, when we're doing our increase, we do it on the wrong side of the work. Two, four, five. You're supposed to have five ridges. Okay, now, now we're going to knit these, purl these five stitches, just like this. Okay. Uh, okay, I said it wrong. We don't do our increase. We're going to do the, our increase on the front of the work. I am so sorry. Sorry about that. We're just doing our increases like... Uh, adding stitches so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this uh, yarn over and I'll be right back so I'm going to do my increase again just like what I how I showed you one two three four and then five Okay, and then we knit these purlwise, just like this, all the way to the end. Nothing else to be done. No, 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 no. This is the front. We're going to do our increase. Sorry. <laughs> Three, four, five. Okay, so we have five stitches here. Now we're going to start our yarn over to make to do the corner to corner style. So again, on the front, on the front of the blanket, when your uh, long tail is facing your uh, left side, we do a yarn over, just like this. And then we just knit three, four, five. And then again, count two, four, five. And then we do another yarn over. And then again, we, uh, we knit so this is all we do on the wrong side of the work we just knit knit purl wise and when you come to the front you do a yarn over so don't forget that don't forget that always knit yarn on the front that shows this is how it shows the blanket I don't know. I, it's really fun to knit this blanket. Okay, so because I'm having right now, I'm going to be having two whips <laughs> of the same pattern. So I am on the right side. So three, four, five, and I'm going to do my increase on the front. So don't forget, always on the front. Three, four, five. Sorry, count five stitches and then do a yarn over. So here, when you get lost or when you're confused, don't count the middle because it's going to be increasing. Always count the edges. So two, four, five, make a yarn over. Don't count the middle. Like I said, it's going to be increasing. So focus on the edge. So we do this about five ridges again. This edges. This edge. We're going to be knitting five, well, five ridges, but we need to bind off. So I will show you that. So to do that, we're going to be knitting four ridges. On the four, uh, fourth ridge, after knitting the fourth ridge, we're going to bind off and then go on from there. Okay. So I will let you knit. Uh, Three more ridges and I'll be right back so but don't forget to do your increase on the front after the fifth stitch okay so I have knit five rows when you count it um, two four two four well um, it's hard to explain so we knit uh, four rows, four, uh, four ridges. So I am going to bind off. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Uh, what I'm saying is when I bind off, we will create the fifth uh, ridge. Okay. So we're going to be binding off a total of 
three stitches just like this just bind off the way that you you know how to bind off and then you will have two stitches and then we will continue knitting the rest of the stitches all the way to the end and don't forget your increase between because this is the right side when we do the bind off well on the one of the here okay and two four five and i do my yarn over and i just knit this to the end and when i come back what i do is i bind off two four I bind off three stitches, I knit two together, put the stitch back, knit two together, put the stitch back, knit two together, and I just knit all the way to the end again, nothing else, because I did my yarn over, and it gives you this nice two, four, five, see, two, four, five, and then you just knit Nothing else. I really like this color. <laughs> and then yarn over, knit the yarn over, purl the yarn over, and knit the two. Okay, now when we turn our back on the front again, we're going to do, we're going to ink, add three more stitches. And I just use the same technique that we have used. And we just knit one two three oh I needed to do one more has to be five always five we count again two four five one two three four five see and then we do a yarn over always do the yarn over on the front and then you just continue knitting just like this and i will show you how to do this part as well but again don't forget always yarn over on the front okay yarn over and then when I turn my work, I add three more stitches because we already have the two. So when we bind off, we only bind off three stitches. One, two, three. Again, turn two, three, four, and then one more. One, two, three four five oh i did extra see always count see there's six stitches we don't want extra it would not look uh good it would not look equal when you look at the blanket when it's done you will notice the error so don't just be cautious when you're doing your increase so get rid of that one stitch that one tiny stitch would make a big difference. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we just knit. No increases, no yarn over here on the wrong side. Well, in the middle, like no yarn over, just on the front we do the yarn over. I did get that question a lot. And I am knitting fast. I'm sorry, but uh, I have to because this is going to be a long video. But I am showing you the details and I'm explaining as I'm going. I do get a lot of comments that I talk too much, but I have to talk to explain. Other than that, if I don't, you're going to ask me the questions, right? So we just knit this. That's all we do. And on the front, we're going to do a yarn over. So this is how it looks like so far. Okay, I'm going to show you this blanket. OK, 
Okay, as you can see, so we're going to continue knitting, knit, 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 that's all we do, okay, just finish this one, see we're all, fin now we're on this one, right, right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the bri brioche in the middle. Okay, it's a total of 11 stitches. Okay. Okay, now we're going to start doing the brioche stitch here in the middle. Okay, to do that, you should have a total of 23 stitches. Continue doing your increases until you have 23 stitches where you did the yarn over just like this and we put we start doing the brio stitch I put a marker just to show you on the wrong side of the work the tail should be facing your uh, your right and then this is how it looks like so far just give you a closer look okay here we go so we just continue knitting so what i did is i put a marker five we don't count the edge so five stitch and then starting from the yarn over included you should have two four six stitches that we're going to be purling and then we're going to start doing the 11 stitch of the brio stitch okay so we just knit these just regular knit just like this we don't do so on the wrong side we start the brio stitch on the right side we just do the increases and the yarn over that's all we do you know, like when we do the um, decrease and stuff okay again count always so two four five is the edge two four five six is the pearl to do the brioche i'm going to show you the easiest way to do the brioche so you won't get confused because i've been getting lots of comments <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna knit purl knit purl knit purl knit purl knit purl and knit okay so go back and count again where the knit stitches two four six eight ten eleven so we're done so the uh, the rest of the stitches are just going to be purl that's all we're going to do nothing else and my marker is in my way <laughs> So we just knit, purl these stitches all the way to the end and your yarn over. Okay, so we're done. Yay! We started. <laughs> and then we just continue knitting. So we're on the right side of the work. Okay, count your uh, two, four. So now we're going to get rid of the three stitches because we're on the fifth. Always count two four five remember i said when you're doing the right side of the work we do our decreases increases and we do our yarn over when you're on the wrong side start that's when you start a new like a new brioche just to show you because we're going to be making more brioche right see oh my goodness i love the stitch i'm gonna make a baby card again or even an adult so, so stay tuned for my next tutorials just love the brio stitch i made so many cardigans with the stitch so i got rid of the three and i just knit and i do a yarn over when it's time to do a yarn over okay so i'm gonna come to my marker okay i'm not gonna count these anymore always count the brio stitches because you will get confused I know the color is variegated, but uh, so here where I started the new brio, the new uh, brio. So two, four, six, 
8, 10, 11. So here is my stitch. This is my brioche. Let me just put this here. So you can see this is a knit stitch. So I'm just going to knit that. Okay. So here is my way of showing you. I did a tutorial already about this, but that's okay. If you're not a subscriber, you're missing lots of stuff. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss lots of my tricks and my new stitches. Stitches. Okay, so this is a knit stitch, right? So I'm not going to knit like this. What I'm going to go do is go underneath here. This is the, the easiest way I can show you. So you, you go between here and then you knit it and you leave that stitch. And then you purl. The next stitch is a purl. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this again. I don't knit it from here. I go underneath between here just below and I grab my stitch and I let it go. Purl, go between, knit, purl. So we're basically what we're doing is we're knitting, purling. That's all we're doing. Okay. So count again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So we're done. So I just continue purling the rest of the stitches. Should move that marker here because, uh, yeah. And I just knit. This is all I do. But don't forget the yarn over. Okay, and we're going to bind off this three stitches. I need to get rid of them. So I'm going to move my marker because for some reason I put it one here. So I'm going to bind off one, two, three. I'm going to knit, knit the yarn over. When you come to the brioche, you just knit the brioche. When you're purling the pearls, you just knit them purl. That's all we do. Okay. And again, we're on the brioche. So so I'm going to knit one below, purl, one knit below, purl, one knit below, purl, one knit below, and then this is the last one. See, not this one, but on the white one, one knit below. And then just purl the remaining. Okay, now we're going to do our... Uh, so on the edge, we do the same thing over and over. So it gives you this nice texture. Look at this. So you don't have to worry about making a border on when you're finishing your uh, blanket. You just knit it while you're going. So I do have another tutorial that I'm planning to make using the same method. And uh, stay tuned for that one as well. So I have always count four. I want more. I always count because sometimes it's more. You focus on something else. And then you have more stitches. So one, two, three. Four, and then five. Okay. Yarn over. Then we just continue knitting. So I'm going to let you knit this for a couple of rows. Actually, it should be total of 11 rows. 11 ridges of this purl. And then what we do is... Okay, everything's falling down. We start a new, because we're increasing, right? Then we will start a new brioche here. See? So continue knitting, and I will, uh, just don't forget the edges. Don't forget your increases, your decreases. And then I will meet you here to start a new brioche.
brioche. Again, you should have 11 stitches. So count, you should have total of 11 ridges, and then we start a new brioche. Okay, so I have been knitting, and this is how it looks like. Oh my goodness. So again, I just love how it's turning out. The color of this yarn. You know, when you look at it, you love these colors, but when you knit it, it becomes more sophisticated. Okay, anyways, uh, don't forget to do your, uh, your decrease and your increase every five rows on the right side of the work. And don't forget your yarn over. So always continue. That's going to be the edge until you finish the blanket. Okay, um, for the these edges. Okay, so I have knitted 11 rows. And then you should have total of 11 stitches right here counted. Uh, this is the wrong side of the work than when we start our new uh, brioche stitch. So it's 2, 4... 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, included with the yarn over that we did. Okay, so now we're going to start making a brioche here and then doing pearls on top of here. And then we continue knitting. So it's every 11 rows. It's every 11. You will count these 11. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, and then you start a new brioche, okay? So that's very, very important. Okay, now, I'm just going to continue knitting. I still have time, because this isn't five rows yet. Don't forget, every five rows you do your decrease, and then you, three stitches you do your decrease, and then you do your, uh, you bind off three stitches and then you bind on three stitches don't forget that's very important okay so we just continue knitting just like this so I count my stitches again two four six eight ten 11 right here so this is this is where I'm going to put a marker I'm just going to grab my marker uh, I should have grabbed the yellow one just going to put a marker so I will know that it's going to be starting a brio stitch you can always count over and over so I'm just going to continue knitting one knit one purl this is all we do on the first row one knit one purl just like this okay, knit down. and again go back and count two four six eight ten eleven okay we're done now on the brioche we're going to purl that's all we're going to do purl I'm doing purl you can um, Knit two sides, and you know that you can make you can get a purl stitch, right? You can do that one that way as well, but I like to purl this way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to count again: two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay, now we're going to do eleven stitches brioche. So knit two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we just do the knit one knit but one knit purl. That's all we do. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this marker because I'm done with this one. And put it right here on this stitch. So when I come back, I know that I'm starting the brioche. And I just continue knitting. That's all I do. Nothing different. Knit purl. Or like, or like I said, you can uh, do knit stitch, two sides. And then get the same effect. Okay, so I'm going to do my bind off. 
two, four. Because uh, bind off three stitches. Okay, and then you will have two, four, five. See the ridge? Okay. Leave the two remaining. And this is the front. So I just knit the way that I see. Okay, here I start the brioche. Okay, again, this is a knit stitch. So I'm going to go not, I'm not going to grab it from here. I'm going to go one below. This is how the easiest way to knit the brioche stitch. I do have tutorials on how to knit brioche on several, uh, another way. So if you want to go and check it, you can do that. But this is the easiest way for you so you won't get confused. Just like this. Okay, so we have done, and then we're just going to do purl on top of the brioche after 11 rows, and after 11 rows, we start doing the brioche stitch on top of the uh, purl stitch. So that's all we do, and then the because of the yarn over, it increases, right? So I'm going to let you knit about Ten boxes like this and I will show you let me just finish this row so you won't get confused and then again go on the be below because it gives you the C if you do the knit one pearl you won't have this effect but when you do it this way it gives you the brioche it's a totally different stitch and it's so easy see how easy it is and look at it it gives you that 3d look gives you that fluffy look <laughs> you can knit cardigans uh, sweaters uh, scarves for with this brio stitch and it's so easy it's just like one knit and then you just go below to knit the stitch the underneath and that's all you do I'm knitting the last stitch and I just continue knitting so this is the front of the blanket two four five and I do yarn over and I knit the remaining three stitches but I'm going to bind off and my yarn is stuck somewhere there we go so I do my bind off so don't forget so two four and then uh, you should have a total of five, like every five rows, you do a bind off and a bind, uh, you pick up stitches. So you get rid of the three stitches. I'm repeating myself over and over. So you won't forget. And this is all you do. Let me show you one more time the brioche. And I'm going to show you how to do the decrease. So go, not don't grab this stitch, but go one below, right, right in the middle, and just grab it, and then you just knit it. It gives you that nice uh, texture, and that's all you do. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. Okay, so uh, I have knit all the way to the half of the blanket. And then we count one, two, again, these are all 11 rows for 11 stitches to create the square. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's pretty, pretty long. Doesn't fit my eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I have knit. And I'm knitting on circular needles. I'm happy that I invested these years ago, a decade. And I went and bought two more knitter surprise because I don't think there were any knitter surprise. I, I bought lots of Addy. 
because Addie was out there. Anyways, so what I did is two, four, six. So six ridges I have knit. Okay. So now we're going to do our decrease. Decrease means this is going to be a square. So we're going to go this way. Slant. It's like, you know, it's the same way of doing a corner to corner. Uh, if you have knit dishcloth, it's the same method. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to grab my uh, thingy here. Okay, so from here, we're going to do our decrease. Okay. And I'm just going to continue knitting as I normally knit. Let me just grab this. So again, I, ha I bought a total of 17 balls of this yarn. And I have used seven to total so far. So I still have enough to finish the blanket. So just buy, or if you have the yarn, enough yarn in your stash, definitely knit it with the yarn that you have. Okay, so let me just move this aside. Wanted to show you. Okay, so I am, we're going to do our decrease. So we just knit regularly. Don't forget the edges. Every five rows you do your bind off and your cast on. Five. So I just knit this. Okay. So what I do is I knit these two stitches together. Just like this. And then I continue knitting. Just knit the way you all the way to the end until we make our two more decrease. Okay, and then we just do our brio stitch as we regularly do. Nothing, nothing different at all. Sorry. Again, don't pick it up from here. Go, go it on the one below. I'm especially focusing on that, not from here, but one on the below. And that's how you knit your brio stitch. Just like this. So I am going to meet you at the end to show you how to do the other decrease. Okay, so I have knit all the way to the end. This is time consuming, <laughs> so I'm not going to show you because uh, it's pretty long. I haven't measured it, but it, it is long. I think it's over 50 inches long, uh, the middle of the blanket, when you uh, measure it corner to corner. Okay, so uh, if you use a thinner yarn, it, your, your blanket is going to be smaller. Okay, so I'm here to... Four, five. This is the yarn over. These two stitches, I'm going to get rid of one. I'm going to knit the yarn over. And I just continue knitting the uh, pearls, uh, the five stitches, the edge. And I turn my work. So, on both sides, we're going to be, um, we're going to be doing the decrease to make that corner look. Uh, corner to corner. So two, three, four, five. But we continue making these yarn overs just to separate the edge from the blanket, like the border. And this gives you that nice, sophisticated look. See? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a yarn over after five uh, stitches, always count, and then I'm going to purl these together or knit, whichever, how you knit to create the purl look, so you get rid of one stitch. Okay, so we do get rid of well, one stitch on the wrong side, on both sides, the wrong side and the right side, and I just continue knitting my uh, stitches that I I'm working on and don't forget every 11 rows we uh, change it so so I still have a couple of more rows to knit this so I am going to sit down and knit this 
all the way to the end and I will come back to show you how to do the decrease again. Okay, so I'm going to do my decrease right here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then here are the two stitches that I, I need to get rid of one. Okay, after that, I do a yarn over because this is the front. And I just knit the remaining five. And I believe it's time to bind off. Let me just double check. Yeah, always two, four, five. Yeah, two. This is how I count the ridges two, four. And then when I do the bind off, it's, it creates a five. So don't forget, every five rows you do your bind off. And then when you come back, you do your, you add stitches again, three more stitches. So we got rid of the three. Okay, so here I always knit my yarn over. Don't do your decrease on the yarn over. So after the yarn over, but when we're, when we're coming, you just do it the way that I showed you. And then, so after, I'm going to get rid of another one more stitch, just like this, knit two together, just like that. And I just continue, continue knitting, nothing else. Okay, so you, you do do this all the way. And then you will notice that it's going to be slanting towards automatically this way, even with the couple of rows. So I'm going to let you knit and start doing your decreases. And don't forget every 11 rows, so 2, 4, 6, 7, and then 8, 9, 10, 11, and then you change, you automatically change to brioche and then knit stitches, uh, purl stitches on top of here, and versa versa, and then you continue going like that. So I'm going to knit um, all the way, this is all, you, this is how you do your decrease. So let me just knit and I will show you how it's, you know, the more it's going to slant towards this. And that's all we do. So I'll be right back. I have knit a couple of rows and just wanted to show you. So don't forget on every row back and forth, we get rid of one stitch, but we'd still do the yarn over on the front. So, and this is how it looks like it's slanting towards this. This is going to take me a couple of days to knit, so I will continue knitting, and then I will uh, change the brioche to uh, uh, every other 11 rows, and then I will come back to show you how to do the, well, you don't, I don't have to come back, but I will come back. I will make another video, because it's going to take me a couple of days to knit. And I will come and show you how to do this part, this part, and how to finish it up. So I hope you like this tutorial. I just try to make it as easy and as, and as simple as it can be so you can understand how to knit this gorgeous uh, brioche corner-to-corner -corner blanket. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and uh, if if you don't subscribe you will miss <laughs> my one-of-a-kind tutorials because i am coming up with another tutorial making the same uh, edge with a different stitch this time in the middle and i'm sure you're gonna love it love it love it love it especially if you have lots of yarn in your stash you're gonna love it because uh, uh the brioche uses up lots of yarn and uh yeah. Happy knitting, everybody. Stay home, stay safe. Try to take care of yourself. This with this virus, I don't know what's going to happen because it's not going away. Yeah. Happy knitting. Yeah, this is the yarn, just showing it over again, and it is called oatmeal, and uh, the blue one was called waves. <laughs>